everybody welcome to my live I hope you guys are having an amazing night I am doing some late night chalking so this should be super fabulous I just need to find you so that I can see some comments and that will be awesome so I know hello hello let's see here we go Got it. Yay, I've got comments right here. Oh, I gotta mute this. Good gravy. That was my YouTube. Let's try for Facebook. See if I can see myself. It's so crazy how one day, like I can see it right away, here we go. And then the next day, I'm totally um, not in the right place at all. But we are going to do something super fun. Um, I have a really awesome idea that you know I always try out my ideas with you guys. So what we're going to do is I have this really big um I have this wait a minute I have this really big um I have this really big door and it's like cut in half and then the inside of the door is painted like a chalkboard and I hang it inside my um it's in like this little corner of my living room hi Don Marie Sheila and Diana and Patty and Joyce how is it going how's it going but um I also um have had you guys will laugh at me. Literally, <laughs> I've had my beautiful Christmas tree on it. My um, um, Christmas decor. And I haven't been able to change it out. And so, anyway, I've wash it off and I'm ready to get going again on something else. Why can I not? There we go. And one more. One more. Let's see. Hi Shirley. Hello, hello. Late night talking, right? Um Yeah, late night chalking. Okay, so let's see. I am going to do my own like farmhouse decor technique with the freedom transfer, which, and I'm a little bit farther away from you because this thing is so big. Uh, it's got two parts, and I'll show you. And they're not all probably going to fit perfectly on here, but I'm going to do a little background with our buffalo plaid using a fresh linen color, so very light gray. Then we're gonna do, this is my, um, this is gonna be my red, white, and blue. We're gonna use um, Storm, Fawn, Ocean, I mean, I always wanna say Ocean, Coastal Blue, and Current Jam. So we have these like, this like muted palette. Okay, so we'll see, we'll see how this goes. I think it's gonna be a cool spin. And if I can get it right, it should be pretty cool. All right, I need to pull over. There we go. Hi Donna in YouTube land. How's it going? 
you know, I, I'm having slight issues with YouTube not being my friend lately. They are not doing notifications when I'm live and it makes me sad. Hi Sadie from South Alabama, hoo-ha. All right, hi Tracy. Okay, so I think this is gonna be really awesome. Now, I do have long arms because I'm like super tall, but um, it's hard for me to hit my buttons up here. So this is how big my space is. We're going to, um, we're gonna do the background like this, but I wanna show you how I'm going to prep this. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prep this. What I need to do is I need to take this whole area and um, I've been cleaning it off. Okay, so I have my board eraser and I'm just gonna clean off some of these spots right here and then I'll dry it. And if that doesn't wanna come off, it probably is the underneath of the paint. Because that, like I said, this is totally a painted wooden solid wood door. It's so heavy. Hi Priscilla, Margaret, Joyce. Oh good, 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 good. So hopefully everybody else, because I've been having more and more people say, I haven't gotten, I didn't get an announcement or a on a YouTube um, notification. So I'm not sure what's going on. Now after I wipe that off, I am gonna dry it just a little bit. And then I'm gonna apply some wax to this because this is very untrustworthy surface. I need to, um, there I am. This is a really untrustworthy surface because it's not a chalk couture surface. So anytime that you're using something that's not a chalk couture surface, you really want to um, be prepared for the unexpected. You just really never know. So I'm gonna apply some wax. And the best thing to do, if you have a surface like this that's really big, you want to apply the wax, but you wanna get it all over because it can change the look of, oh good Patty, good, good, good. Um, it can change the look of your entire surface um, because it can make it a little shiny even though it's a matte, um, like it could be a matte wax finish, it can give it a little sheen. And I'm not worried at all because I know it's gonna be good for my board, it's gonna be good for my transfers. So I'm not worried if my background isn't perfect. This is an imperfect board. I mean, it's it's a wooden, I'll, I'll like hold it up in the distance so you can see it when I'm done, but right now we are just, um, we're gonna buff this wax kind of get it in as nice as possible and kind of smooth that out. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? And I may need to use that again in the future. I am trying desperately, hold on, okay. All right, so here's what's gonna happen. My oldie but goodie, and you guys, these are 100% available. The Buffalo plaid, I need to pop this out. And I'm going to use this not all over, but I'm gonna do a little, you know that technique that I like to do. Um, I like to put it on the edges and just kind of like as a worn out background. And this transfer is pretty worn out and you guys know that I have cut my transfer so that I have, oh, good gravy, a large piece. That's how worn out it is that I don't even, 
That didn't even freak me out. If it were brand new, I would be crying right now. Um, and I cut out a corner so that I can do little projects with it, which is awesome. Hi, Angie and Tammy. Hello oh, from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I just think that's fun to say. Um, hi, Laura. Okay, so I'm going to lay this up here. And we'll do kind of in the corner um, a little bit first. I might actually put it a little bit off the corner so that I get a really good effect because, oops, and I don't want it crooked. And I'm not going all the way over. So um, it'll be, like I said, I'm gonna use the, the linen. <laughs> I bet it freaked you out. Yeah, hi Beth. How's it going? I just spent the day with you. That's my sister. We had family over for a little, little get together today. We had a good time. All right, so I'm stirring up my fresh linen. And I'm taking a hunk of, hunk of, hunk of, hunk of chalk paste and I'm just going to Put it in the places where I want it. Kind of this corner area. Then, I just need like this top row and below. There will be some bleeding, there will be some, you guys can't even see it all. So now you can see, I'm gonna do as much as I can up here and kind of down the side. But it's gonna be very distressed and if it looks too perfect, I'm gonna sand it off because that's what I do. You can get some of this, but most of it, I want it to look worn away in places. I know you're probably like, this is not how we chalk. Well, this is what I want. Um, you may never have tried to do anything like this before, but the more creative you get, the more you won't um, be so freaked out, you know, when you want to um, try something like this. Because what's the worst that's going to happen? I don't like it, and I have to redo it, right? Okay, now I'm gonna kind of um, turn it and do the same thing in the bottom here. And I will probably do a little bit more there. Well, we'll see, I might not. So as I Stick this down. My hand is full of chalk now, so I need to wipe those. I can just do it in my water and then use my, there we go. Okay. Hi, Julie. How's it going? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sonia. Illinois instead of Arizona. Well, you are mighty close. Well, you are closer to me than Arizona for sure. Gosh, depending on where you are in Illinois, <coughs> you are definitely closer to me. Whew. It's almost like we could be practically neighbors. Illinois. Hi, Carol. 
Ooh, watching from Ohio. So all of you East Coasters, you guys are night owls like me tonight. And when I say East Coast, you know what I mean. We're not really coasters, but we're in the Eastern time zone. One of the tricks with this particular technique is to actually run out of chalk, right? Like as you're doing this, you want to run out of chalk. And that's the whole, that's how it gets, um, it really gets that look of, I've completely worn away this fabric or the background or whatever you want it to look like. You really want to spread this out so that you're running out of chalk. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm pretty good. Okay, I think so. I'm just kind of looking around. I'm gonna lift this up. Okay, so here is our background, and I'm gonna take this giant thing, fold it over so that the chalk is on the inside, and I'm gonna put it into my tub like this, because then I know that it's not gonna to stick to itself when I have to fold it over, because my tub is just a, a like a dish pan. All right, so we have this awesome looking old, worn out, whatever, right? What's wrong with the board? It looks bubbled. Absolutely, it is a super, um, you weren't here at the beginning, but this is, it's a door. It's a big, solid, wooden door, okay? And so it has layers of paint. This has been painted black and worn through, it's old, so I, um, it's a very volatile surface. So I'm taking every precaution with this to um, make sure that my transfers stay safe when I'm using them. Um, so I waxed the entire board really well, and I knew that my, um, I knew that my buffalo plaid has been well used and well loved, um, but my next transfer is going to be brand new. So I may, um, actually I probably won't, but I do want to dry this so that I can get that on there. Really loving. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Patty, no! I had, I didn't know about that. Why is it closing? I you know I haven't been looking at the um uh emails that I get. Bummer. Bummer bummer bummer. That stinks. Hi Kathy from Houston, Texas. I was just in Houston in April and I will be back in Texas in June I do love traveling and getting around okay um it's one of my favorite parts of the job is getting able to travel a little bit super fun for me and getting to see things like I don't I don't have to like experience every little thing but I just love to like be in the moment I don't have to go everywhere like in fact I was just talking to somebody and absolutely no <coughs> um, like I like to travel the US um, I do get a little nervous going outside the US I am NOT gonna lie only because I really <laughs> I really like um, knowing stuff like knowing the laws and the rules and everything and so like the farther away we get the 
the more outside of my comfort zone we get. And so <clears throat> I was just saying how I, um, it would be really hard for me to travel too far outside the U.S. Oh, good, Beth, you're helping me answer questions. Okay, all right. So next, ooh, that's a little wet yet. It's a little wet yet. It didn't probably get over here very much. And so um, let's see, going back to school on Tuesday, I have Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday is our overnight field trip to our camp, so that will be fun. So we have four days of work this week, five days of work the next week, and four days of work that week. So we are looking at like 13 days of school left for the summer and quite possibly for the rest of my life. We will see. Goodness. All right. I think we're ready to do the rest. Now, I don't know. I have this and I have this. And so it could probably all fit if we kind of did a little squishing it down here and then squishing it up there. I just need to make sure, because this is my lightest color. So I think it'll be all right. But most important thing is that we are going to uh, fuzz like crazy. So this one says fireworks at the top. And we had fireworks tonight in our neighborhood. It was so awesome. The boys, everybody went out. <clears throat> it was fun. Love, love fireworks. Okay. Here we go, peeling off the backing, setting it down here, and we're gonna fuzz it like crazy. I'm gonna use my fuzzing cloth on the fuzzy side. So you want that terry cloth side down here, and that happens to be the side with the tag. So you know that it's the right side because you've got the tag. The one without the tag is the cleaning and drying cloth side. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Save me from all the stupid things I do. Hold this down. All right, I feel like we're good. I think we've got a good, now I just have to center it as best I can and start pressing. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. Let me pull it down so you guys can see. And we'll go over a little. So you guys can see everything I'm doing. Um, I think that fireworks appropriately should be current jam. So let's go ahead and get that. I am reaching for everything. I'm so not used to having to reach for everything. Where's my trash? Ugh. Current jam had a little bit of a thing on it. Okay. So we're going to practice the paste and peel method, which means I'm going to paste 
a section and then peel it up because not every section is going to have this color. So this is our current jam. One of my most favorite red tones and I love using it as a red in things like like a vintage Christmas that kind of stuff and I got to do this fast because I'm going over chalk I need a little bit more to get all the way down here oh my goodness okay and I'm gonna peel hi guys So we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Um, and I can just kind of like relax it and not push it back down. So then these starry nights, we're gonna do that with our blue. May stir it up. I could use darker colors, but I really am wanting this to be, oh, oh my goodness, my things are way, ah, I need to get my, my container of squeegees. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll set that right here. I need to use a mini squeegee for this. Let's get, I don't know, I just, oh gosh, I have a lot on here. It's really goopy. Okay. Oh, I've got a little red in there because I'm stretching and I can't see what I'm doing. I should be doing this upside down. Unfortunately, I am not. Okay. Let's pee. Oh, we're good. We're good on that. Okay. I'm talking to myself now. I'm like, okay, okay. Every time I say that, okay, okay, I am like talking to myself. I don't know if you guys have ever picked up on that. Okay, I say that word a lot. A lot. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to like dry it out a little bit. I'll throw it back, make sure that the country is here. Country music. Um, I do want to kind of clean this little, just get that off of there. All right, so country music is going to be a big amount. Why don't we do that in the um, storm? Looking good. Yay, thank you. Awesome. All right. We can do this, I can do this. Talking to myself, pumping myself up. You can do it, you can do it. Let's hope. This is gonna be a much bigger selection or section. Okay, so, um, to make it fast, we can certainly pull out the big dog. This is our four inch handled squeegee, which is what I refer to as the big dog. I have a lot of gray left, so I'm gonna put it inside the container. Perfect, and then what I'll do is, I will just come back in here and 
um, smooth and remove, right? You just need to smooth and remove the rest of this. And then here we go, smooth and remove. And as you're doing that, you can see if there are pieces and parts that need a little bit more, oh gosh, where'd that go? That need a little bit more. And you can just kind of hit those. And then I'm gonna peel this. And then we only have one more word to do, which is barbecues. Awesome. There's just one little janky piece that popped up. No big deal. Okay. I'm going to let that flop. And we're going to do barbecues. Now, I know this is a totally different color than this. I just want to make sure it will show up. Okay. It will. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Fawn, you are new. Love a brand new chalk paste. So smooth and creamy. My gosh, it's like the whipped yogurt. I love it. Okay. Fun. I love. Look at that. So smooth and creamy. I love a chalk paste that does what I want it to do. Okay. I hear a little crackling. There might be a little bleeding in there. It's not always the best thing, but when you're making a sign, um, or a piece of decor that has to, is gonna be distressed anyway, it really isn't gonna hurt your stuff. So, there we go. Let's peel this whole thing off. And we're gonna turn it and stick it into our water. Get that soaking. It's turning out good, you guys. So we just need to, um, I noticed that my board, little bits of it are coming up. It will eventually, um, by the time I need to redo this, whew, it will be months down the road because honestly, I this is a summer board. And so it's gonna be, you know, Labor Day before I need to change this. So after Labor Day, then it will become a fall board. And you know, I'm just gonna dry this down here. I will probably throw a coat of paint on it. Well, I'll probably sand it down, throw a coat of paint on it, and do some more waxing. I almost sanded it out tonight, but I thought, nah, we'll just wait. In person, you like I know in my screen, it's hard to see that S, but in person you can see those letters. It's good. Nyoka, hello. So, and so we come out four times a year with new, new transfer designs. Um, July 1st is going to be our next big haul. It's gonna be our next, um, our big catalog, actually. All right, so we're gonna call this side Corn on the Cob. Yeah, so July 1st, we have our next big catalog, and it's going to feature new products as well as transfers, new transfer designs. It will be our fall and winter catalog. Uh, and so, um, but it's our, it's our big catalog. We have big catalogs and we have many transfer suites. A transfer suite is just like a collection of 
like 25 to 30 new designs. And the big catalogs come out July 1st and February 1st. I think it's February 1st. It could be, it you know, it could be any time in February, actually. And then um, our mini uh, transfer suites, those only come out, um, we just got one in April. So April and September, that's when those come out. I believe. I think I'm right. I should be right. I should know this stuff, right? Right. Can I say right anymore? Okay. I think I'm doing a good job of fuzzing this. I don't think it's that sticky. Okay. All right. Let's get this done. Oh yeah, blue is a press. So red, yellow, and blue are your primary colors, which means you are going to um, not mix though. You can't make those by mixing. Every other color you can make by mixing those three colors in one way or another. I'm pretty good at mixing colors. Um, but what did, so we'll have some Christmas transfer. Absolutely, the July 1st is going to be um, uh, fall and winter. Yellow and red are, yep, ask Beth, she's the art teacher. We do have several shades of blue. Who, I didn't see the blue comment. What two colors can you mix? Oh, sorry, Tracy. You can't really mix two colors. Hi, Foxy Chick. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And yes, fall and Christmas will be in July, if I didn't already say that. Now... What color should I do now? I don't necessarily want to go in order. I don't want to do like a repeating thing. I think sparklers. Ah, I'm, I'm, I think I'll do, I could do red, white, and blue separate. Well, I don't even want to. Ah. I could do red and blue. I kind of like the thought of doing freedom in blue, sparklers in red, <laughs> and that would mean I will do corn on the cob in slate. Okay. I'm not going to need too much here. That's probably even too much. I'll use my small one. I don't have to use my small one, but I certainly could. So I'm gonna, cause it already had the, the storm. I call it slate all the time. It's called storm people. The color is storm. And here I'm smoothing and removing. Oh gosh, okay. I just love to rhyme words. Like we peel and reveal, we smooth and remove. Get with it. I gotta get the lingo. And now we're going to peel this up. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Corn on the cob and watermelon. <coughs> Sorry about my coughing still. Buttermilk for corn? No, it's actually fawn. Um, I really should have these closer. My eye, it's late. My eyes are tired. No, it's not buttermilk. It's called fawn. It looks to you like buttermilk, but it's not. It's fawn. It's 
on. I'll hold it next to buttermilk so you guys can see the difference. See the difference? Fawn is a, like, a, like a tan color and while the other is definitely yellow. All right, so I'm gonna get this stuck and we'll do red. Our beautiful currant jam, I love it so much. I love it so much. Okay. There we go. I'm just trying to hurry. This is super smooth. Um, it's like, but it's a very thin formula. So this particular color, trying to be careful and get it everywhere I want it, but not everywhere I don't. Okay, smooth and remove. And then we might as well go ahead and do this red down here, because I wanted that in the red color. Okay. Good. So I only need to push down the white and the blue here. This is all gonna be blue, so I'm gonna do the white and the ampersand with this fawn. And we'll do that real quick. Hi, Laura. Oh yeah, I don't have the buttermilk. I know you just said use it for the corn. And I know that we were a little bit confused over the colors. I certainly could have done that, but then um, I'm not really, tr I, tr I, tr I try not to necessarily match colors like that, especially when I'm supposedly doing like a farmhouse theme. All right, let's go ahead and just get our blue, blue, and we'll get our blue down there. What did I use for, oh, I used a little one. Well, I can use that for this. Okay, so we're getting our blue done. Slowly, I should be using a bigger squeegee, but this is what I had it on, so it's doing the job, and I'm moving as probably as quickly as I can with this. I'm actually using a mini squeegee, so I'm trying to work it. There we go. Get the rest of these letters done. And then we can just peel this whole thing off. I have some little bumps and things here. I'm trying to take care of that. Yeah, I'm not sure. As I peel this one up, I'm going to watch for, I'm going to peel it up the other way. I'm going to watch for any little spot. Oh, that did not come up. This dried. All right, so let me get that peeled. The E and the M. I'm going to, oh, I want to attempt to get through that. Oh, that dried a lot. 
I, I think it's just because this is an older color. But as I used it, it dried pretty quick. Okay. Well, that was pretty successful. Awesome. Let me get it. Don't stick. Oh, for the love of all that is chalky. Open up. You are not going to stick to yourself tonight. Okay. Get it in the water. And then I will be safe and on my way. All right. So the freedom. Freedom is just another word. Sorry. I got little Bobby McGee in me. Okay. I may, I don't know. It's supposed to be distressed. So I guess I don't need to um, worry about it too, too much. But I will admit the freedom word is a little bit light. Uh, now this one up here looks really nice. But down here, I will show you. Okay, hello, Helen and Bev and Carol. My goodness, I didn't see you guys pop on, but I just did know. Video on how to use the angled squeegee. Oh, absolutely. If you haven't caught how I used it here, I'm gonna tell you, it is probably hands down my favorite squeegee. Now, I do love it's like, they're like my children. I love them all in their own special way equally because I will say, I love this because, you know, for this. I love our mini squeegee for so many reasons. I love our small squeegee for just as many because I lived with the old small squeegee, which was um not awesome this is awesome the angled is by far my favorite so here's like my red white and blue plus i have the linen and the storm so i'm just kind of cleaning up putting away getting these closed because they dry you know so you want to be careful of that all right, now, you guys gotta see this. I don't wanna mess it up, so I'm gonna try to dry this real quick. But I'm gonna hold this up. When will I do an all-day chalkathon? I have it in the works. The problem is um, senior year for my daughter. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, all of the events for my kids, this, it's horrible. So. I'm gonna do chalkathons when I'm done working and after the grad party, which is June 22nd, which means I leave Tuesday for ChalkCon, which is our convention in Texas. So it's probably gonna be a while, but I, I bring it on. Oh, guess what we did on Saturday? We bought a camper and I'm super excited. We have never owned one before. All right, all right, let me change my view so you guys can see, oh, that's, that is a stretch. Okay, boy, I wish I had a drink of water over here. This is super heavy. When I pick it up, you're gonna see. It's a, it's a door. It's cute. Oof. Oof. Okay, so now, there it is. <laughs> Fire, wait, which part? There you go. Honestly, if I took the gray and went over that freedom, I would love it so much more. Fireworks, starry nights, country music, barbecues, corn on the cob, watermelon sparklers, isn't that cute? So it's gonna go in my living room. Um, and like, I have this 
that blue color on my walls. And so it looks really good with my, I have some antique things where it's gonna go and so I wanted it to be this. Um, I'll put it in there and I think it's gonna look amazing. I totally set it up there but I'm afraid it's gonna fall. So I'm just gonna hold it and chat with you but I have to see. Oh, so good to scooch up here. Um, what kind of camper? So we got a Cougar by, who's it by? Cougar by, I forget the brand. I forget the brand. I don't know. But it has an awesome, key. it's a bunk, it's a trailer. It is a travel trailer, not a fifth wheel. And it has like a king size bed in the, the master. It's got a big super slide. It has a bunk house um, for the children, outdoor kitchen, two entries, which is like one of the things I really wanted, a door into the bathroom. Um, it's awesome. I'm super excited about it. Lots of storage. It's awesome. Really nice. There are a lot of and we got a great deal on it. There were a lot of upgrades that, um, you know, it was awesome. Okay. Uh, cha cha cha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, could you do a video on hot? Yes, I just did that. I just got one. I'm having, you're having trouble. So let me show you really quick the angled squeegee. Um, I need this. Mine is wet. I'm gonna grab one of mine and I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what I do and take what you will, but I'm gonna set this down. You guys got to see it. Oh so heavy. Okay. Let me give you a super quick, I'm gonna move my computer away. I just washed this. So look at the angled squeegee, all right? So this is the flat side and this is the angled side, right? I am right-handed. I hold it like this. My finger goes on the Chalk Couture logo and I love this side and I, and I, um, Use that to spread my paste. If you need to at, at that time, like let's say you need to really quickly do another color, you could easily flip it over and do it this way in that angle. But whichever angle side you're using, <coughs> you just go on there. If you need a really long side, you certainly could, can um, use it with that. But I'm always this flat side is what I'm pulling toward, right? I'm never pulling, I'm not using all these funky angles like that, like, like that. That's, to me it's weird, I use the edge. There are also tiny ones right here and you can go that way. Uh, that flat side to me is the way I pull the, I don't know, that's just how I do it. Um, not everybody, I have watched people use this totally different ways. That's how I do it. That's how I'm comfortable. I just, my finger goes on the Chalk Couture logo and my thumb goes on the flat side and I pull it back like that. So hopefully that will help you just play with it a lot and see how it works for you. Um, oh, awesome. I'm glad you got an idea with the Chalk Couture fabric because, or the um, Buffalo plaid because I love doing that little technique. Um, Don Marie, yay! So, um, you guys have a total disadvantage. I have a total disadvantage, not you. You guys have, you know, whatever. I don't, I look at your little, like, profile pictures and half of them aren't even your face. So, you have to come and introduce yourself to me and, um, say who you are and like you have to say your Facebook name because that's all I know <laughs> or your or your YouTube name um so you have to come to me and, and introduce yourself to me no matter what um and don't worry if I'm talking to somebody else because that's what it's going to be like 
I'll always be talking to somebody. You can just come right up. It doesn't even matter. Um, Patty, as soon as I saw the king size bed, I was like, OMG, this is the one. It was tough though. We had to choose between a king size bed and a bath and a half. And the only reason why I liked, I didn't choose the bath and a half is because there were so many more upgrades on the other one with the king size bed. And honestly, there wasn't that big of a price difference. And now I just, I'm just gonna be spoiled. So there you go. Um, Keystone, that's what I thought, Cheryl. So I wanna say it says Cougar and then by Keystone. So that's what we got. Um, it's a really, it's a 2019. Um, it's actually not brand new. Somebody used it and then decided that they wanted a different one and traded it in. And it had so, that's why we got such a good deal because it had so many upgrades and was like used once, like one week. And anyway, it's funny. It's awesome. It's truly awesome. <sighs> okay. Well, you need to use your angled squeegees, people. Oh my gosh, you're a twin, Don Marie? That is so cool. I always wanted to be a twin. Okay. Um, those of you who are new here, I just want to give you a little rundown on a few things that I usually talk about. One is if you are watching for the first time and you like what you see and you are interested in finding out a little bit more, you want to get into my customer group where I give... Um, I do sales and specials and we have a little bit of fun. I share um, uh, information about what's going on in the company and also artwork and um, sometimes we do challenges and I give away stuff. So inside that group, that's called my um, Creative Sarah's Chalk Nation VIP Cafe. And if you want to get in there, you want to go ahead and type into the comments, add me, and I'll give you the link. So either I'll, po I'll reply to you with the link, or if I can, I can message you with the link. You can always <laughs> reach out to me for that um, information. Then you join, then you join the group. I can't make you join the group. Um, if you know about Chalk Tour and you are not in our club yet, there's still time until May 31st. We still have our club member only sale going on. And <clears throat> you get to get into my exclusive Club Couture group, which gets even a little bit of more special treatment. A little bit of more. So that makes a lot of sense. You get more special treatment than if you're in my VIP group only. You do get special sales and exclusive um viewing capabilities of an exclusive project just for you for the Club Couture project. So it's our Kid of the Month program. It's $19.99. You get an awesome eight and a half by 11 transfer, three chalk paste single colors, and then you get a couple of videos and information on how to create a project. And then I do a, an exclusive project. And then I do a public project. So you're getting three ideas just from me on how to create with your kit. And again, it's $19.99 a month, no shipping. You get shipping for free. So if you want more information on that, just type club, I'll get you more information. And if you like what you saw here and you are um, curious as to how to be a designer or what it takes, what you need to do or how you can work the business, you want to put join in the comments and I will definitely get you a link to my opportunity group inside my opportunity group. I go live every Monday night. So that's tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Um, you don't have to catch it live. It's always Eastern time, 9 p.m. Eastern. If you don't catch it live, no worries. It's saved and you can watch that little informational thing. It's about 20 minutes long and I kind of go over all the ins and outs, things that you need to know before you make that decision. So, hope you all have an amazing, um, amazing rest of your weekend. I appreciate all the love. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Sandy. Woohoo! I'll get you that information. 
and um, you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I hopefully will be back tomorrow doing something fun. I don't know. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.